Closing is always easy when you're in Cardone U. We role play with Grant Cardone's team. They know just what to do. They're always there to support us. We couldn't ask for more. On our way in the right direction, we found what we're looking for. In FLC, in FLC, closing is better with appointment setters. You better believe we're not a team but a family. We work together in harmony. We are devoted, and that you can quote me. In FLC. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the FLC Hangout, where your freedom lifestyle begins. Happy Sunday, if you're watching this, when it comes out. If not, happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, wherever you are. I am so excited. We have Jacqueline on the Hangout this time. How lucky are we that we keep getting these amazing guests on the Hangout? I am so oh, yeah. excited. Um, obviously, we... We are very familiar with Jacqueline. She has been in the FLC community for a little bit now. So I am just ready to dive straight in. But before we get in, make sure you follow us all on Instagrams. They are on the screen now in the description below. Get your pen, get your paper ready, and let's dive in. Without further ado, Misty, over to you. Thank you so much, Josie. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining us again today. We have another powerful episode for you today. So don't forget to grab your pen and your paper and take notes because Jacqueline is going to drop some bombs. She's going to drop gold. You want to be able to sure to get it all. Um, so <clears throat> thank you so much, Jacqueline, for being here and joining us. We're so excited to be able to talk to you and get to know a little bit more about who you are and what you're doing. I know, like Josie said, we've been we, you're part of the FLC. We've known each other for a while, but we want to really get down and, and I don't want to say dirty because we don't want to get dirty. We want to stay clean, but we want to get down and really know a lot more about you and your business and what's going on. So Jacqueline, if you would please introduce yourself and give us just a little bit about what you do and, and how things are going for you. Thank you, Josie and Mitzi for having me. Um, my name is Jacqueline Young Landy. I am the CEO of JYL Image and Lifestyle. And what I do, <laughs> what I do, I teach women, you know, mainly over 45, because they're going to be 59 next month, um, how to show up their best self in their image, in their wellness, and in their lifestyle. Because life does not end after 45. It's just begun. Ooh. Definitely. I completely agree with that. I'm over 45 too, so I completely agree with you. <clears throat> um, strong. Oh my God. I love this topic. I actually saw recently this um, woman on Instagram saying, looks do matter. That was her pattern interrupt, by the way, because you hear all the time, looks don't matter, like it's okay. But her argument was actually looks do matter because if you look good, you feel good and you can do good, right? Look good, feel good, do good. So I think that's really, really interesting. Um, and the the better you feel about yourself, the more that you can actually do and the more productive you are and the more you show up. So yeah, I'm. that's amazing that you help people with that. And kind of what do you, what process can you like take them through is it like awareness is it helping them with style because obviously look at your style who wouldn't want help everything starts with the mind you have to be very aware of your thoughts because your thoughts produces your reality and um, i focus mostly on your wellness meaning you know when you feel good from the inside it shows outside and um i focus on image because your first impression is your last one i don't care what people say about oh you don't have to dress up you do because when somebody's dressed and when somebody's not dressed the eyes go to the dress and then when you dress yourself you take yourself out of that equation so you can be your best to others and also i focus on lifestyle um get very clear on your lifestyle how you want to be, how you want to feel, 
how you want to be to others and just start living that now. Because as my book says, this is not a practice life. This is the life that we're dealt with, this one. So show up the best version of you. Wow. So Jacqueline, you just mentioned your book. What's the title of your book? And where can people find it if they want to get, get a hold of that? <laughs> this is not a practice life by Jacqueline Young Landy. It's a top Whoa. 100 bestseller on Amazon. So you can get it on Amazon. But if you want a copy from me, you can just um, get me a message and um, I can. It comes in hardcover, it comes in Kindle, and it comes in um, paperback. Awesome. That is great. Um, so Jacqueline, I, I know you said that you help people. Um, sorry, my mind is going on me again. <clears throat> but anyway, did you help people with their image and how they see them, not only see themselves, but how they present themselves to other people? And I've also seen that on Facebook, I see your posts all the time on Facebook and on um, Instagram. You're doing this modeling, these really beautiful clothes. Do you have your own clothing line as well? No, I don't. I do uh, alteration. That's part of my 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 okay. package. I do alterations to fit people. And another package I have is figuring out your fashion personality type that matches your body type. Because you know, where everybody don't wear the same thing. It doesn't look good on everybody because we have different mm -hmm. shapes. We have different fashion personality type. And when you know those two together, then the true you start to shine. And also another package I have is um, I can come to your hometown and shop for you. We couldn't do that before because of COVID. <laughs> and um, I can shop for you online after we figure out what your body type is and what your fashion personality type. So that's what I do. And I do make some custom stuff that is not... Uh, not like mass produced or anything like that, but if you want something made, I can get it for you. But that's great though, because then it's a one of a kind. It's a yep. Jacqueline original and they, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. That is incredible. Yeah. And I really like that what you said about feel good inside first. So that comes down to what do you like do every day? Do you work out? Do you, what do you eat? What, nutrition um are you getting vitamins and that mixed with how are you presenting yourself like how do you actually look and it, it can sound materialistic like you need to look good you need to have this like persona have the eyes on you but it's it's true if you want to be visible and you want attention which we're in business we all want attention not in the Give me attention away. You want attention. You know? right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But th that starts with how how you feel, how you look, and then that creates your attitude for how you treat yourself and treat everyone else, right? So it's it's very overlooked in business, I feel. Looking after you from the inside, from the outside, look good, spend the time on yourself, spend time money resources on building yourself because that's actually going to make you feel so much better and I'm talking from experience I used to get on our team meetings every morning still in my pajamas or in a jumper and I wouldn't feel I mean Misty you have an excuse it's like 2 a.m for you <laughs> no Misty you you're fine you have to wake up in the middle of the night um but you feel so much different when you actually show up and then I started getting up earlier, dressing, making myself feel good. And my productivity went through the roof. So I think this is a really strong foundation on building yourself more, right? Because I'm sure you've seen it in the people you've helped. As soon as they feel good and look good, they do more good, right? Yeah. X. Go ahead, Misty. Well, I was just going to say, Jacqueline, you talk about helping people find um, that what their style is for their body type. Um, have you had, I want to say, have you had any difficulties helping people do that? 
I mean, how, what are some steps that people can do if they, if they say they, they want to be able to do that, but they just can't figure it out. I mean, figure it out on their own. How would they go about doing, figuring out, okay, what, what is my style? You know, instead of just wearing, I'm just going to run around pajamas all day and hoodies, then what is my style and how, what is my personality? And how do you go about finding that for someone? I have an assessment sheet that you fill out to figure out everything that she's, there's a question sheet. So you just fill that out mm -hmm. and then we can Zoom call and then I can, you know, tell you what your fashion person, where you lean. Because some people can have more than one fashion personality. I am very trendy and I'm outlandish out there and I don't care because <laughs> I'm unapologetically me. And some people are, you know, conservative, some are romantic, some are sexy. So it can, it can fall in one major and fall in another one. And then um, I Zoom call with you and I, I, I show you where you fall. And I give you... <laughs> Come on, Betty, you can say hi. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. This is Bella. <laughs> Oh. She, no, she's not she's not allowed in here <laughs> so um i create looks like three looks for you like uh formal uh, casual and uh dinner wear looks to, to fit because everybody's different i have clients come in and said oh what is wearing no 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 it's not what's wearing it's what you feel comfortable is what you feel your best in that's what you go with. You don't go with what everybody's wearing at all because that's not it. That's just keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, Sorry. I was just going to say, I love that because it's like you're not, you're, you're really helping people to tap into who they truly are. Mm -hmm. And that way that helps them show up not only with the confidence and the, you know, feeling more powered and being more productive, but they're being their more authentic, true, who, true self. And that gives them all the, yeah, I love that. Yep, yep. I find myself um, over the years, I, I will change my look. I will just go a while with a certain look and then I'll switch it up. I've gone from, from, you know, the little sweetsy, cutesy, girly thing to goth. And then I'll go to rocker dick and then I'll go to, yeah. you know, goth. Pop. Yeah. I'll do everything. <laughs> And then I noticed, yeah. And then yeah. when I go to buy clothes, I find myself doing the same thing. I buy certain outfits for different feelings. So, <laughs> yeah. exactly, you dress how you feel. That's it. Yeah. Not what everybody's wearing. It's dress how you feel. Make you feel. You want to feel happy. You want to feel powerful. You want to feel energetic. You dress how you feel. Mm. So powerful, isn't it? And it's kind of. People might look at it and be like, well, it's just an outfit. It's just like some makeup. It's just a hairdo. But it makes such a difference to your energy. I think the how you feel and your energy, obviously, very closely related. And this isn't, I'm not, this isn't woo-woo. This isn't spiritual stuff. And though here we, we encourage that. But even if you're not into it, this isn't that. It's, it's just fact. How you feel is going to dictate how you feel <laughs> and your energy without in the most your reality. Yes. Oh, it exactly. does. It really does. How you present yourself. Yeah. Exactly. If you want to walk into a room confident, shoulders back, like you're confident, I'm here, I've arrived, everyone, look at me, then you need to dress that way. If you dress in a way that makes you, let's say I'm wearing some trackies and a jumper. This is comfy clothes. This is chilling at home clothes where I'm all oh, like, no one look at me. I'm going to snuggle in my blanket. I'm going to hug my cat. If I wear that out into a social event, I'm going to have that same energy, like retreating. <laughs> I want to like come out and out of my shell and people like talk to me, engage with me. You need to dress like that. So who, that person you want to be, how are they acting? How are they dressing? How are they feeling? Embody that. So I think it's so powerful and overlooked how much difference dressing can make you um, feel. Pierre, for example, on our team, he used to run sales calls and he would always just wear casual clothes. 
He said the minute, the day he started wearing a shirt or a shirt and tie, like the professional glasses had good lighting, his closing or his confidence went straight away. And it just tells you, right, that you become a different person. Um, I love feeling like feminine and like but powerful feminine um and there's just so many avenues you can go with it right um so i'm i'm interested as well because you help people like feel good from the inside feel good from the outside and the lifestyle that comes with that what's kind of the the first step say someone right now is listening and they're like i want to feel good too like i want that what's the first thing that they can actually do to become a better version of themselves I get up in the morning early because I'm a morning person and I pour into me first. I meditate, I affirm, I journal. I go up. Adds up. So you have to. You get to. Up to is like, you get to pour into yourself just like everything else. And just like putting your hair appointment on the calendar or your doctor appointment on the calendar, put yourself right there. And when that time comes up, stop everything you're doing and do you. Wow. You're full and happy. Containers. So you got to pour into yourself first. Mm, yeah, interesting. And I, as well, Obviously, that takes time and resources and money. But just like you invest in yourselves in business, you buy a course, you learn from a mentor, you have to invest your, in yourself in any area you want to get better in, right? Um, so don't don't stop at just business or books. Invest in you, like you, like your vessel, your this this body you're carrying around Earth in your lifetime um because like you said you only get this is this is the lifetime this isn't a practice like feel good now um so yeah i love that so much yeah and you're talking about investing yourself like um not only learning and and you know courses and stuff like that but it's the food you're eating it's the exercise it's the clothing and you were talking about lifestyle you help them with a the lifestyle um I, I'm curious about how that works because I, I understand a little bit more about the, the clothing and the feeling good and, and stuff like that. But I think where my, my things come in is I have a hard time transitioning that into the lifestyle. Like, I don't even know what my lifestyle is. <laughs> Put it that way. Freedom lifestyle, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I just grow up and it's like, you time? so can you kind of give me a little bit more to, to, to go on there? Because I really, I'm kind of lost when it comes to that one. What I, what I do is I get really clear on how I want to be, how my surroundings want to be, how I want to look, how I want to feel. And anything that supports that is what I do more of. So it, like my husband and my dogs go to bed. I get up early and I pick up. I don't necessarily clean the house, but I pick up because I love my surroundings looking decluttered. Because when it's, de when it's cluttered, hair is cluttered so you can't focus. Mm -hmm. So I, I love pretty stuff. I'll do stuff that makes me feel so happy. I don't dwell on the, the laugh and the worry and the doubt. and the, I don't dwell. I dwell only. I only focus on what makes me happy. So find what makes you happy life and do more of that. That's, That's great. <laughs> Powerful. I love it, that. Sorry, Misty. Mm -hmm. I, I was No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just making little comments. Yeah. <laughs> it really comes down to becoming your best self now. We talk about this all the time. And I actually have only really talked about it and heard 
it being talked about in the area of business or like finances who who do you want to be your life but really it it's also like this like who you not not your life who do you want to be be that now how do they dress how do they eat what time do they wake up what exercise do they do do they do exercise which you should every day um and do this i, I drink now. wine every day <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly uh it's um yeah it's it's just about doing that now um what's the routine of your best self and make that your routine right now like why what are you why are you waiting <laughs> what are you waiting for <laughs> it's my question to you um so just before we do go on to the next question i want to say anyone watching please reach out to jacqueline um follow on instagram facebook links are below reach out for the for the book that she was talking about i'll let her handle that one um but yeah it's it's well well worth taking the time money resources to invest in you and how you feel Jacqueline do you feel like there's um a common I want to say common basis when you're going to help somebody with everything like there's there's a I don't want to say like the same clothing or something like that but there, is there a same like how do I want to say that have common like baseline staple. where you start with yeah staple I guess that everybody should be so looking for. yeah, yeah that's, uh, like what I said um, earlier it, it's not what everybody's wearing that's not it that's not you find out who you are what kind of fashion personality you are? Are you are sexy? Are you comfy? Are you romantic? Are you bold? Are you outlandish? Are you relaxing? Find out what personality you are first. And then, because when you find that out with what you do, most the jogs or party, you find that with what you do mostly. And then find out your body type. You have a different, everybody's shape different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you have rectangular, you have curvy, you have uh, upside down triangle, you have big bosom, little bottom, you have big trunk in the butt, whatever. You have different kind of bodies. And when you have the body that matches the personality, then you start finding the clothes to fit it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is not the same. Not yeah. Same. Which is great. The same. We should be all unique. <laughs> exactly. How boring would it be if we were all the same, right? Imagine if we were all... Yeah, look, oh, that's Miss again. That's Josie again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, there's one people, I'm not cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah, I always tell people, I'm not cookie cutter. I don't like cookie cutter. Yeah. No. <laughs> imagine we were all wearing the exact same thing right now saying the exact same thing acting the same way like you I anyone watching, <laughs> yeah anyone watching would have tuned out 15 minutes ago and we we started yeah. like 20 minutes ago so um and I think also what's what I just the idea that just came into my head is you don't I talked about spending money spending time spending resources you don't actually have to spend that much to look and feel good. Um, and I realize now that maybe when I was saying that, it sounded like you need to spend and invest and spend your hard work, earned money. You don't, it doesn't actually take a lot to look and feel good, right? There's just a few different tweaks you can make. Like, I never used to wear jewelry, like the rings on, excuse the red knuckles, by the way, I was doing some boxing. Um, so that, don't look at that. I never used to wear <laughs> jewelry or earrings or necklaces. And the minute that I started like a year ago, I felt so much better. And it's not, it's not, it doesn't take much time, right? To get this stuff or put it on. It didn't cost a lot of money. Um, so I think that's also very important to realize, right? And do you actually, do you help? You said that you can shop for people too. Is there kind of budgets you look at or... Does everyone have a different 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I look at budget too because um sometimes too they have the, all the stuff right there in their closet that they're not wearing, but mm -hmm. but because they don't know if it fits them or they keep putting it on, ah, oh, this doesn't look good because they don't know how to put it together. So everything is already sometimes already in the closet, mm -hmm. even five packs on there still. <laughs> but you know when you when you know like. You know, then you can put yourself together and you just shop for that because you know that is your thing and everything else doesn't matter. Yeah, I love that. That that just reminded me, um, <laughs> I went through a phase of buying loads of green stuff because my hair is red. It looks quite dark here, but it's quite like bright red, not bright red, but it's red. So I was like, Wow, red and green go really well together. Give me all the green stuff. And when I went shopping, I was like, green, green, green. And then I just had a closet full of green stuff. And obviously I got bored of green. Um, and then I had nothing. Um, and I'm guilty of wearing the same thing. The same, like, five tops in my wardrobe when I have 20 in there. Just because I don't know how, how to put things together like that. Um, so I think that advice for people is worth so much too, because there's so much in your wardrobe that you're wasting, which is money wasted, um, just because you're not aware of you, your vibe, your body type, how you want to feel, how to put these things together. Um, and again, check out Jacqueline's Instagram. I saw a video of her, and I mentioned this before we started recording, um, of her like dressing up this this dress, this plain black dress um that you said your daughter called a bin bag dress but it's white. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then at the end like with all the things it looked really good so I think there's great power in just learn, spend some time to learn about that and if that's not something that interests you and you're still thinking like what what does it matter just look around. When you go outside, look around. Who looks good? Who can you see has put time and effort into their looks? And don't you agree that they catch your attention so much more and they have such a higher vibe than people that go out in sweatshirts and pajamas? Um, so I think that's that's very powerful. Yeah, definitely. I had a question. So, and I don't know if this is like giving away too many of your secrets, but when you go shopping for somebody, do you have certain places you, you like go for, like you go directly to those places before you start anywhere else? Some clients, high price is quality or high price is the best. But for me, I just, <clears throat> I don't really look at high-end products because I wear my stuff. If it tears up and it's mashed up, I throw it away. I'm not going to hang on to it forever and ever and ever. I, it comes in and goes out. It comes in and it goes out. I don't want to have stuck stuff in my closet. So it depends on the client. If the client wants expensive stuff, then we go to, I go to expensive stores. But if the client is budget friendly like I am, <laughs> I'm going to shop budget friendly for her or him. Yep. Awesome. That is so incredible. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm realizing now actually that this is a topic I don't think we talk about enough. And it sounds very materialistic to say that you need to look good. Like I said at the beginning, people will hear that and kind of feel triggered. Um, but it's so important and I know I keep saying this, um, and it's, it's really well timing that we had this discussion because I just started following this woman, um, on Instagram who, who was saying, look good, feel good, do good. And it's so, so true. Um, and I know we're talking a lot about like looks, outfit, how you look on the outside. You also help people with how they feel on the inside as well. Right. Um, so what kind of does, does that entail? Is it like journaling, realizing their goals? Is it eating? Um, do you take, do you have any 
anything that you like rituals you do with this I'm interested in that as well I have a ritual for clients that you know have self-confidence doubt mm -hmm. I ask them to write out all the doubts in their clothes in their image in their body in their business in their life their village everything and rewrite that script how they want to watch that one up and throw it away and the one that they're writing that they want it to be, that's what their affirmations are. Ooh. That wow. I love it. Oh my gosh. I, Don't I just think about all those stuff again. Let it go and let it go away. And the yeah. ones that you want that's reached that new script, that's your affirmation in every Oh, I think I just heard my brain go ping. <laughs> I think I, I heard a light bulb <laughs> moment. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. And you know, what you focus on expands. So we don't want to focus on lack. We want to focus on our desires. So uh, that's and every affirmation is not for everyone. I'm wealthy. I'm abundant. That's not the affirmation. You write, okay, I, my body is fat. Without coming in, say your affirmation, and those are your life, your desires. I think it really comes down to that awareness we talk about all the time. You can't change something if you're not aware that it's a problem, right? And people people being everyone on this planet have such a habit of talking negatively about themselves all the time and you can say affirmations like you, yeah all the time that's called insanity mm. you can change it change it if you want uh, new results you can't dwell on the same old pattern talk exactly exactly so well said because how are you going to change if you don't change <laughs> that doesn't make sense right um so and if it doesn't make sense then it won't do anything in your life it won't change so yeah I think it's such a powerful thing to be aware of that um and it's such a habit and it can be hard to be aware of the things you say to yourself or the habits you have of talking about yourself but really try and catch yourself when you're thinking these things whether it's about internally, externally, something in your life, which is externally, but you know what I mean, um, and change it. It won't be overnight. It's not an overnight process, um, but make that effort. Reach out to people. Reach out to Jacqueline. Again, can I say that enough times? I'm going to keep saying it. Um, <laughs> to to help on this process because you're – you're going to be so much better off once you actually start liking who you are inside and out. Right. So yeah. Is that, is that something, um, is that a process you can take people through as well? Realizing being aware of, of what they, their current reality. I, I, I want to add to that because that's why I said you have to point to yourself. You have to put yourself on that calendar because you cannot just go about and, and think it's going, you're going to be aware you have to take time for you to change those thoughts to what you desire. You can't just pull on up from the hat. And you have to take time for yourself. And setting that mm. Body come in, just I'm in my room. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Actually, that was a really good point. Sorry, Misty. I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> I'm so yes, fine. Um, I was thinking this the other day, that you need to make time for you in the same way that you make time for your friends. Like If you say you're going to meet your friend for an hour on the weekend at this time, you're going to do it, right? But sometimes when you tell yourself, okay, on Sunday, I'm going to spend the day for me. Sunday is me time, like me with me. I'm going to go on a coffee date with me. Why is it then it's so easy to bail out on that and not do it or sit down for an hour, journal, meditate, go shopping? I don't know. It's why, why 
why are you doing that to yourself keep yeah Take bite yeah. sizes till that muscle is so strong. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Take bite sizes. So take time out every little day for yourself until that muscle is so strong. You don't. You just laugh at all those little negative stuff anymore. Yeah. See, that's a point you want to get to, right? You want to hear yep. that stuff and be like, "Who said that? Like, where did that come from? That wasn't me." Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> It's so, yeah. it's so true though even if it's 10 minutes in the morning just do it um respect and i i talked about this a while ago actually on my on facebook respect yourself enough to keep the promises you make to yourself just like you keep promises to your friends or your family that you're you're meeting up with it's respect so take time for yourself is what i'm what i'm saying and stick to it body that deserve your time and 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 your patience and your money you deserve yourself too so put mm -hmm. some time in for yourself yep exactly exactly yeah i i liked when you said that um you have people write down everything that they dislike about themselves and then you have them let throw it away um Shibari and Master have talked about doing that as well, right? Where they have you write down all the negativity and then they have you deliberately walk and cross it out so you can see that it's crossed out and it's gone. And then you write the affirmation next to it, the positive opposite of that. I love that. Um, yeah. And I it, I it was. <laughs> like, it like we said, it's all good. Like we said, there's this happens when there's so much to say that I, I like forget what I want to say because there's so much to say. <laughs> but it's like we said, it's not an overnight process. Feeling good from the inside, becoming aware of your negative habits and changing that. Feeling good from the outside, what you wear, what the, the makeup you do, the hairstyles you do. And then allowing that to change your life and your reality not an overnight process um and i feel like what stops a lot of people actually getting to that point is just that it's not an overnight process and we're such a society of instant rewards instant dopamine gratification that it doesn't work in a day a week a month if you if people can even get that long nowadays they give up um but i think just keep keep working on you is what I feel like the overriding message here is and that doesn't just mean in your knowledge in your business I know we're all in business here but you like yourself you are your biggest asset so yeah just make time for yourself yeah exactly keep going keep growing <laughs> Awesome. This uh, discussion is so important and so amazing um, because we really want to highlight the fact that, um, you know, people settle for mediocrity and they get too comfortable in the lifestyle that they've been dealt or, or that they've settled into, I should say. Um, <clears throat> and they think and more and more often, I don't know about you guys, but more and more often you see people just never leaving, never getting out of their pajamas. They just go to the store in their pajamas all the time. I mean, I don't know if you guys have it in the UK, but I see it more and more often here where I live. And they just don't get out of their pajamas anymore. And that's got to say a lot about that person. And it's not that they're not a good, powerful, amazing person. It's just where they're at right now. So taking the time to take care of yourself and to recognize that, hey, I don't want to settle for mediocrity. I deserve better and I deserve to feel and look at my best and taking the time, like you said, for self-care, even if it's small increments here and there, that kind of builds up. And the more you get used to doing one thing, then you can add another thing and make it a little bit more. Um, I think that is so powerful and amazing. And definitely I talking about this subject, I definitely see where in my life, I can make adjustments. So thank you, Jacqueline. I really appreciate that. 
um, because I do want to be the best version of myself as possible. And I do see where I can make adjustments and I will be doing that. Um, however, guys, we are getting to the, the end of the, the episode. It has been very short. It's like time flies when you're having fun. Um, <laughs> it's like it's so I would like to know before we go to wrap up, um, if you guys have any ending, you know, closing thoughts that you would really think that people should hear before we really wrap up here. Any anything you guys have to say at all? I say um Wow. Yeah, so true. I, my ending thought is what Jacqueline just said. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I, I just repeat. She knows what she's talking about. We'll go with that. <laughs> I, um, no, but I, I do want to say I think it all comes down to embodying who you want to be, um, embodying the energy you want to have. And that comes from the inside, that comes from the outside too. And it's not it's not vain or materialistic to want to look good. Like it's actually the opposite. The the more you look good, or if you what you think looks good, the more you're going to feel good and the more you're gonna do good. Um, which is yeah, that that in itself will set you up for life wherever you go whatever you want to do you're never gonna know what where you might run into um or what you might be doing that day um for example there's there's times where we just randomly start recording something or chibaria wants to make some footage of our meeting and i'm like oh thank god like thank god i took some time this morning <laughs> um so you never know what you're going to be doing and i think just yeah you should see some of the morning meetings <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're afternoon for everybody else morning for middle of the night for me and i'm the one in the pjs without my airbrush and i'm like oh great <laughs> But it's yeah. We it's, give you all pass. We give you all pass. Exactly. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> exactly. Not everyone. Not everyone can wake up at one thirty a.m. every day or whenever you wake up. One so, a.m. Yeah. One a.m. Um, oh. But yeah, my my ending uh, thoughts. My final words are embody that who you want to be now. Um, who's that future version of yourself? Don't make it future. Make it now. And then you're going to be, you're going to be that. Who doesn't want that? Right. You know, I want to say, <laughs> I want to say, say, you know, people quit settling for mediocrity. Um, if Chibari has taught anybody anything, she has taught me it's okay to dream big. Um, and if you listen to a lot of the multimillionaires, they'll also tell you, think outside the box, dream big. You know, if you have an idea of something you want, go bigger, go bigger. And the best way to get that started is to look inward, take care of who you are, find out who you are, and project that on the outside. And get in contact with Jacqueline because she can definitely help you with that. Um, and she's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. Not only is she gorgeous and intelligent, she knows what she's talking about. She knows what she's doing. So get in contact with her. Let her help out with you. Um, and that being said, guys, we thank you so much for being here. We're so honored that, Jacqueline, you have been here and been able to join us. We've had so much fun with you. And um, that being said, guys, continue learning. If you found this episode and informative or you liked it at all give it a like share comment help us push us at channel out to as many people as possible because we want to help as many people as possible reach their freedom lifestyle because obviously like it says here this is where the freedom lifestyle begins 
So that being said, guys, continue learning. And we'll be back with you next week. And from all of us here at FLC, welcome to the family. Or once your family, your family for life. Can't get rid of us that easy. And we're big <laughs> dreamers. So get used to it. <laughs> see you later, guys. Thank you. Much love. Bye. <laughs>